Hello everybody, my name is Kara, and today I'm here with a spoiler-free review on the Time series by Megan Morrison. So I'm going to be talking about the three books that are currently out in the series. I don't know how many there are going to be after this, but I hope there will be many more. And the first one is Grounded, The Adventures of Rapunzel. The second is Disenchanted, The Trials of Cinderella. And the third is Transformed, The Perils of the Frog Prince. So this is a series of fairy tale retellings that are companion novels, but they're definitely connected companion novels. Um, I would absolutely recommend reading these in publication order, which is the order in which I just showed them to you um, because there are story threads that continue and there are characters that you see later and things just I think make the most sense if you read them in order. So in this video I mainly want to focus on like the series as a whole and things that I see across all of the books that I think are really well done and well executed um, and if applicable I will definitely get into some details on the particular books in the series but this whole thing is going to be spoiler free. So the first thing I want to talk about is the world and the world building. Um, something that I was really struck by when I started this series was how sort of like cute and harmless <laughs> things sound until you get farther into the books. Like all of the kingdoms in this world are named after colors you know and there are some really kind of classic like charming fairy tale tropes or things that you see like the fairy characters initially seem kind of like harmless it makes the series feel like it's going to be a lot less complex than it actually is and as you go on you realize that that's not really the case but the series is a lot I don't want to say darker but there's a lot more serious um, action and characters and themes than than meets the eye you know than you might assume based on some of those surface level things so I do want to mention that like if you go in and you're you think it's just gonna be kind of a cutesy fairy tale story that's really not what it is and I think actually a lot of a lot of the book series is about kind of looking beneath those kind of cute, charming, pretty like fairy tale ideas and fantasy tropes and things like that to how unfortunate they would actually be if people had to live in this world and as the series goes on especially you really see the political connections between these kingdoms like you really see that um, kind of ramped up or you see how complex they really are. Now I definitely wouldn't call this series a political fantasy so I think if that's not something you tend to enjoy like don't be put off that's not really what these books are but I think that the relations between these kingdoms and their shared history that they have like this big war that they all fought in and how some countries were affected very differently from others um, all of that gets tied together really beautifully and especially as you get into the other books in the series you really start to see the world expand and I just think that was done really well. Another thing that is fantastic across all books in the series is the character development of our main characters. So that's definitely true of Rapunzel. Um, I actually have seen reviews from a few people who quit reading this book. Um, they DNF'd it because they found Rapunzel really irritating and immature and naive and I understand that but given the way that she has grown up you know in this tower with only um, with only witch to take care of her and that's like her only contact with anybody. Based on the things that she has been told about the world and the things that she has experienced and the just like her life it makes sense that she turns out the way that she is and while I agree that it can get a little grating her character development is just so fantastic because you see her go from this very sheltered um, naive annoying at times um, character to somebody who really knows herself and who really starts to know the world too and you see that she has this great spirit for adventure that she's never been able to express before and I just think that it's so worth sticking it out. I definitely didn't find her irritating enough that I considered putting the book down. Um, I just want to point out that that like if you're really not liking Rapunzel you might end up really liking her by the end. Um, so Rapunzel her character development is definitely fantastic. And then in Disenchanted um, Ella is actually our main protagonist although it is kind of like there are a couple of different main characters in this book. Um, um, but Ella is the title character and her development isn't so much like a, ch a drastic change in character because she's very secure in her convictions but I think her journey is one of forgiveness and of learning to get to know other people better and to allow them to surprise her. There is a prince character in this book who I think also has a really strong arc because his story is really one of like learning the truth like the reality of the world he lives in because he's been very privileged very sheltered and he's never really stopped to think about the other people in his kingdom and he gets called out on that and he really starts to change the way he sees things and he doesn't start out a terrible person he's just ignorant of the world around him and he doesn't do anything to change that for like the first part of his life and then in transformed Syrah definitely has a really fantastic arc as well he goes from being such a selfish shallow just kind of cruel at times person to being somebody who becomes very humble. He becomes kind and he does have these good qualities at the beginning but he's kind of buried them. Um, he doesn't doesn't like to express them and he doesn't believe he has them and so seeing him 
like grow into these good characteristics that he's had all, the, all along but that he hasn't chosen to use it's just really beautiful and seeing his perspective change on people in his life and and, and on himself too it's just really really beautiful and I just think that the character development as, as a whole like for all of these books is just one of my favorite things about the series and it's done so seamlessly and so well like especially with Syrah and Rapunzel it's so subtle and there's no there's no obvious shift you know like there's no like chapter where you start reading it and you're like okay so as of right now like Syrah is a good guy or Rapunzel is like not naive and annoying anymore you know it really is gradual and it makes it feel so natural and so earned another thing I love about this series is the way that Megan Morrison blends real world issues into her fantasy books so in Rapunzel we have a real focus on like relationships and unhealthy relationships and on the freedom of personal choice and it was just explored in a really beautiful way um, I mentioned when I read that first book like the ending made me cry <laughs> and even though I am definitely a book crier it wasn't something I was expecting like when you read the synopsis for the book you don't expect it to be an emotional experience and for me it absolutely was and then in Disenchanted um, it's really focused on unsafe workplace practices like Ella has lost her mother to special labor and disease and she is on a mission to change this to help people and to really like unite the people against these oppressive corporations and everything so it's like she wants like workplace revolution basically and it's great and then in transformed there's this like political element about an election coming up and there's a lot about democracy and about like sketchy politicians and um and a little bit about like the legal system and on top of that there's also some things about a plague that is spreading around the kingdom and how that may or may not be connected to basically the fantasy equivalent of gmos and it's just it's so brilliant like i'm so impressed at how megan morrison can incorporate all of these things that we we know in our real life into a fantasy setting in a way that doesn't feel unnatural you know like it's a very natural part of the story another great thing about these books is how diverse they are in terms of their characters Syra and Ella two of the protagonists are people of color um Ella is black and Syra um I don't I don't know what he would be considered in that book I think his nation is described to be similar to maybe like the Pacific Islanders of our world there's a wide variety of representation there and among side characters as well and then there are also a couple of characters who I think are in the LGBT plus community I don't think it's been confirmed on page but the relationship definitely feels that way and I expect that to be confirmed in later books and then I also want to give a special mention to the writing of these books so I don't think I've ever talked about this in any of the wrap-ups when I've talked about these books before but I think the writing itself is just really impressive in these books and not because it's like overly fancy or flowery or anything like that um I do think Megan Morrison has a real gift for dialogue and for not overdoing things with descriptions like that's kind of a pet peeve of mine is when um there's so much loving detail given for a setting that really isn't that important but I think that her writing is so good because it's like you don't stop and think about what what kind of writing it is um like there's some writing i love that is very poetic very flowery and then there's some writing i love because it's sort of like unobtrusive it's like it's kind of like what they say about um soundtracks for movies is like the soundtrack is good if you don't notice it like that's kind of how i feel about the writing for these books which not that it's bland or boring but i have this tendency um sometimes when i'm reading i'll automatically edit sentences in my head i don't know if anyone else does this but i don't try to do it but like usually I'll come across at least one or two times in a book like something where I'm like oh this this synonym would have fit better here or like this is awkwardly structured I would rewrite it like this and I don't remember that ever happening with these books she's just a very like clear writer and I really admire that and there are some really beautiful lines as well like there are definitely some great scenes great moments but I just don't think it's anything flashy and that's okay with me like I think that fits the story and it just feels very natural I also really love that these books have such high stakes both in terms of the plot and the more like emotional elements as well um I feel like these books overall really focus on like kind of the reality of what it would be like to live in a fairy tale world it's like yeah um how would the working class live in one of these charming like kingdoms that they have you know in Disney movies or something like what would it be like if you had to make all of these beautiful gowns um so things like that I think were done really well but I also feel like the emotional stakes like the personal connections between these characters they feel equally important and I really liked that I liked that there was time spent on that that's something that's really important to me as like a very character focused very like emotional type of reader and I just feel like the whole tone of this series is just beautifully balanced because there is a lot of time spent on the harsh realities of this world that I alluded to earlier um but there's enough hope to keep you going and that doesn't discount the consequences for people's actions like it's just it's this really delicate balancing act between 
like feeling like there are real stakes and there are real consequences and like sometimes sometimes you make a decision and it's too late to fix everything but it still matters and you can still do a lot of good so i think that's pretty much everything i wanted to cover um as you can tell i love this series it is one of my current favorites and i just think it's really complex really fantastic i highly recommend it especially if you are looking for fantasy or fairy tale inspired books that have more of like a social justice bent to them or that focus more on real world issues and if you love character development, if you like series that sort of expand and get more complex as you get further into the books. If you're interested in any of those things, I highly recommend these books. Please let me know if you guys have read this series or if you're planning to pick it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you soon with another video and I hope you love the next book you read. Bye!